The Unreal Engine is exceptionally popular in making video games and even in movies and television, but a lot of people don't know that people are creating virtual tours and recreations of the Titanic, the USS Enterprise, and tons of other things using this engine. In today's video, we'll show you how to download one of these, install it, and play it on your Steam Deck. Stick around. Our journey begins on the official website of the Titanic Honor and Glory. This, again, is an Unreal Engine demo that's supposed to recreate the lost ship of the Titanic with great historical accuracy. And that's really interesting to some people, and I find it interesting that people are willing to take this, uh, this level of time and effort in order to create these sort of virtual tours that can then be appreciated by folks. Now, unfortunately, they're only made for Windows most of the time, or they're only released for Windows. In this case, we're gonna download a five gigabyte file. So this is big, plus you have to unpack it. So make sure you've got enough free space. Uh, this is going to be downloaded to our downloads folder, and you can do this right on the deck. You don't need another PC to do anything here in this demo. Now we're not gonna sit here and wait for this whole thing to download. But now that it's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and check out our downloads folder in Dolphin, the file browser. We're gonna extract here, and that will leave us with a folder. Now we're not gonna wait for this whole thing to extract. Just understand that you probably don't wanna keep it here if you're gonna run this more than once. Put it somewhere uh, like on your SD card or somewhere outside of your downloads folder where you're most likely not going to delete it. We're not going to wait for everything to extract. We'll fast forward through the magic of video editing. And now that the extraction is complete, we're ready to go ahead and add it to Steam. So we're going to go ahead and go to our Steam library. And we are going to add a non-Steam game by using the link in the bottom left. Add a non-Steam game. We're going to hit Browse. And we are going to go to the Downloads folder and grab the .exe file that's contained within. All right, so we're going to uh, search for Titanic, and I don't think that's right. I think we're going to have to search for Demo because it didn't have the word Titanic in it. There she is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the gear and go to Properties. Now, this is a Windows app, so we must force some type of Proton compatibility, starting with Proton Experimental and then we're gonna run it. Now, if all things go well, it should run fine. Now, you'll notice that it's downloading a version of Proton Experimental because this is a very brand new, fresh Steam Deck, and I haven't downloaded Proton Experimental, so you can see down in the bottom middle that it's doing that right now. That's why it's taking a little bit longer to run. Subsequent launches will not take nearly this length of time. You see in the bottom right, it says Proton Experimental has been downloaded. Okay, so far, so good. It looks like it's trying to run. And there she is. All right, it's there. So um, we can go ahead and uh, check out what we have here. So I don't know much about this demo. I was asked to do this. It looks like there's some sort of a self-guided demo, which is what you're seeing here. Maybe showing you as a potential passenger on this fated voyage. Now, uh, you can go in here and make some changes and monkey with the uh, uh, the various settings of the demo. Not every demo will probably have that. But if they do, you could probably go in and change the quality, make it look smoother, reduce the quality a little bit, because Unreal Engine is pretty heavy. Now, here we are actually on the ship, and we can use our controller to actually walk around and look. This is pretty cool. And as you can see, the way this demo is set up, they bring up little place cards to show you interesting aspects of the tour as you go. Now, this is very heavy. You can see that I, I'm really struggling to get some quality here. That's because everything's turned up to epic. This is as good as it's going to look. You can make other changes and uh, make it look better or smoother, but that's all up to you. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care.